So Donald Trump won the election and the whole world is in disbelief. This is something we thought would never happen. Now people are really scared. Not just Muslims, but the Latino community, the black community, even the white community. Everybody's scared. How can someone so underqualified and so openly racist and misogynistic and xenophobic, someone who we all thought represented a small minority, now get the keys to the White House and become the most powerful man in the world? It's shocking, right? Actually, no. There's something deeper in this. So before you freak out wanting to change your Muslim name, to get rid of your hijab or to shave your beard or remove your Muslim identity, just hear me out. You see, as Muslims, we believe that everything happens through the will of God. And the same way that Allah gives power, He can also take it away. So it shouldn't really matter to us who wins this election. Allah is always in control. It's also important to know that in whatever Allah allows to happen, there is a wisdom. There isn't a coincidence. So this happened for a reason. And I don't know about you, but I feel like there was a major warning sign in this for us to make a change in our lives. To stop being complacent and to start being forces of good in the world. I came across a quote online that summed it up perfectly. For all of us that haven't done anything in the last 15 years since 9-11, but became slaves of our careers and our lifestyles, letting a very few do all the good work, this should be a wake-up call. Get involved in any capacity. Fill your weekends with non-profit work, not parties. Fill your afternoons with volunteering, not fancy lunches. And spend your money on causes, not things. Support those around you who actually do the work because our lives are passing us by. Know that no matter how hard it gets, remember that the Prophet said, if the whole world were to gather together in order to harm you, they wouldn't be able to harm you except with something that God had already written for you. Did we expect this life to be easy? Allah tells us so many times in the Qur'an that we will surely be tested to know who will struggle for the sake of Allah and to know those who will be patient. We must also know that through these tests and through these dark times, the most miraculous things can happen. Only if we trust Allah and we keep working. In our history, we've seen some of our predecessors face the toughest circumstances. When it seemed that all hope was lost. Think about the time Prophet Abraham was thrown into the fire for preaching about Islam. It wasn't until he landed in it that he understood Allah's plan and that Allah saved him. Think about Moses and the Red Sea. When the army was fast approaching, it wasn't until the last moment, after the panic had already set in, that Allah saved him and his followers. And think about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Abu Bakr on the migration, hiding in the cave when Abu Bakr has said, if the Quraysh only look down into this cave, they will see us. And the Prophet replied and said, don't be sad, Allah is with us. No matter what happens in the world, Allah and His will is above everything. He hears all and He sees all. And lastly, if you do feel overwhelmed, if you're tempted to run and hide, or change your name, or take off your hijab, never forget that Allah also says in Surah Al-Talaq, and whoever depends on Allah, Allah will be enough for him. It's time to get real about our responsibility to work for a better world. As Muslims and examples for humanity. And to our non-Muslim brothers and sisters, we don't see this as a Muslim struggle. This is a human struggle. We all have to work for a better world together. Peace. Everything I have.